At ICOM, our whole student experience is really based around the iPad as a foundation for all of our technology. Let's look at Carpal Tunnel. If I'm at school, I have my iPad with me. Having the iPad is a really, really nice and really convenient way to keep track of things, keep your notes going, um, and just be able to reference things quickly if you needed. With the iPad, I can keep all of my notes, all of my textbooks all in one location and just bring that with me and never be afraid like, oh no, like I left my notes at home today or something like that. Right before orientation, so just before our students start their uh, journey here at ICOM, they receive their iPad Pro, uh, they get a keyboard folio and an Apple Pencil. So we're giving them all the tools that they need to really be successful um, in however they want to work however they want to study and take notes and collaborate. The iPad is a great device to really make uh, unique to them. So it was nice to have the option of an iPad to take notes or to just draw on the slides and it was a really good tool to help me figure out what I wanted to study. So for me, I'm a big group studier and so when I'm studying for finals and stuff like that, me and my friends will project practice questions up on the TV screens in the study rooms and kind of just go through them together. Um, we have a lot of learning activities where sometimes, for example, in neurology, we had to kind of trace the spinal cord. And so being able to project that up and then kind of drawing it together and being like, hey, like it's right there and it goes there. If we have a lesion somewhere, it's so easy to be able to picture that. I use the Apple Pencil a lot because um, I'm someone who will handwrite their notes usually. Using my Apple Pencil it makes it really easy if I like want to move a word or something like that. I can easily just circle the word and move it. Being an Apple school, an all Apple school, it allows us the opportunity for our students to have iPads. Uh, our faculty and staff use iPads and other Mac OS devices. We have Apple TVs at every display, and that creates this ecosystem really of collaboration and uh, just gives us more opportunities to continue to share and innovate with all of our technology. For us, we were like, oh, an iPad is great. We can integrate it, we can bring it. We don't have to lug around our laptops when we're with our attendings and such. But at the same time, we have access to all of these medical journals up to date, stuff like that for us to look up treatments and stuff so that we can really understand the cases we're seeing when we're on rotations. And I think that's gonna be such a great benefit. I go back and forth between if I prefer a hardcover textbook versus an iPad just because there are some times where I do prefer flipping pages because I'm you know, old school. But at the same time, it's super convenient to be able to just look through the iPad, search something up. If I needed to go to this textbook or I need to switch to a different textbook, it's all right there. And then I don't have to lug around all the textbooks either. During that ultrasound course, we did have iPads provided for us as well. And so being able to kind of just have an ultrasound right beside you and seeing everything and calling over professors to be like, hey, can you help me with this? Like, am I looking at this correctly? And stuff like that was really, really helpful. But the iPad is gonna still be a resource that I can use if I want to take notes, if I need to look something up really quickly, if it's something I have to read and I don't want to read it on like my little phone screen, I know I have the iPad available to me as well. We really believe that the iPad is an optimal device for our students to learn, study, be interactive students, innovative students, and go on to be the caring and competent physicians that we want them to be through their residencies and beyond.